All right, let's play some, yeah, it's fast bonk time. Let's play some iron bonk, shall we? Upgrade max HP or colorless card for a curse? I could take a curse go here. She wouldn't mind hand of greed or something weird like that. Or we can go boss swap and uh, let's do, let's do the colorless card. Yeah. Uh, that means I could even go to two shops if I want to. So, Hand of Greed will make us dollars. As long as we score kills with it here. Twenty bucks per? How about a... S Try seeing red, but I don't think I'm gonna like it much. Oh, maybe I am. Easy. Never had a problem in my life. First click every time. Double easy. Bummer. All right. This one hand agreed is fine. Lots of healing. Dark Embrace to go with the... Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to do this as the first three cards? Why not? <laughs> I love it. Let's go this way. Aloran, thanks for three months of the Prime sub. Welcome to Cozy Sub Club. Town. It's not quite a kill, huh? 8 plus 30, 38. Bummer. Clap is kind of nice. Actually, Infernal Blade is better because of these two things. Let's just take the exhaust stuff. Um, and I am going to upgrade Hand of Greed first for five more damage and five more bucks. Five more dollar bucks. Come on, Emily. One time. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh, 14 plus 25 is 39, Twitch chat. It's exactly enough. The power. <laughs> and they said Clash was wrong. Who's wrong now, fools? Also, this is the easiest triple hand agreed ever, because I have freakingly Dark Embrace Feel No Pain against sentries. Easy. Oh, I didn't even play the Dark Embrace. Skull, strength below half health, and more card draw. I'll take more card draw. What now? Two elites from here, two elites from here. Although, if I take one elite, I'll get two more upgrades. That's actually kind of a hype thing. To go this way, get two more upgrades, one less elite. Alright, I'm sold. I want to upgrade. Hmm. Uh. Dark Embrace, Seeing Red, and Infernal Blade are basically all equivalent upgrade-wise. Loot Battle Transfers. Ooh, Letter Opener is excellent with all these skills. I don't need to play Dark Embrace here. Got so much card draw on this deck. Can do quite a few broken things. A shrug. Actually, how about a headbutt? Headbutt's gonna make it easier to land hand agreed on things. Match and keep. Oh no. Thank you. Berserk? I would. I'm gonna do it. Thanks. Bloodletting? Actually, better than the Berserk. Now I wish I had not taken the Berserk, but I am glad I took a bloodletting. Please tell me it's not for normalities. Thank you.
Yeah, Bloodletting Puzzle Red Skull is the start. That's pretty absurd, right? Vulnerable? Hmm. It's fine. Do we ever kill here? I don't think so. Actually, maybe with the fear potion we do something absurd. Wing boots? Oh my goodness, this is a very silly run so far. Deck almost wants a flex, but not right now. Anger's decent, but not for Guardian. Skip that for now. Don't accidentally use the wing boots. Kakumbo, thanks for nine months. You're welcome. Terrifying. Uh, we actually just do this, right? There's no reason to even use the Seeing Red. Save the regen potion for next act. Board Pilgrim! Did you hear about the man who is addicted to dressing up like a nun? Fortunately, he was able to kick the habit. All right, we got a hand agreed multiple times here. That's the goal, right? Getting seven. Um, hit up the battle trance. Might as well play this. Same block either way. I could immolate, but I'd rather hand agreed. Stop making me so weak and frail and stuff. Thank you. Alright, well that was big money. Double Dark Embrace? That's excessive. Let's take a shrug. We don't need two of those. But I do want this one to be cheaper. Or I want the Infernal Blade to be cheaper. Or I want the Bloodletting to be upgraded. Deeply unclear. Start with this. We've got many, many good upgrades, essentially. All the all the energy upgrades in this deck are very good at the moment. Not the turn one I was hoping for. Maybe this is fear potion time. Let's do it. Made the difference. I could headbutt the Battle Trance. Take full 15. Let's not do that. Quite happy where I am. Use bloodletting to play bash there. Didn't feel necessary. Um, that doesn't kill though. Hmm. Guess it was necessary. Noted. Definitely should have used the bloodletting last turn. But I'll take it. We're not missing that many hit points, and we have double regen potion to go to full health whenever we want. We also get demon form, juggernaut, or bludgeon. 
we want one. Bludgeon's kind of cute. For an even bigger bonk. And we've got plenty of energy. Alternately, Juggernaut can do some cool things with this deck. Ooh, I like making this into a Juggernaut deck. Let's do that. I am not actually concerned about the lack of energy relics here. I mean, there's Busted Crown, right? But we don't really want that. We have so much energy generation in the deck already, right? Seeing Red, Berserk, Bloodletting. I don't need my relics to also provide that. I think Wing Boots means Black Star. Because we can fight so many elites. Just so many elites. And we have really good potions right now. So many elites in Act 3. I guess not not here and now because there aren't any elites. But m maybe later. Also, we can use the wing boots to get to shops, which is nice. We're going to start out going to this one. Yep, so many elites. All those elites. Every single elite. Doesn't even change the damage we're taking. Easy. Not sure I want Juggernaut actually with Hand Agreed now that I think about it, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later. Ooh, hoo, hoo, whirlwind, huh? Do small damage to each of them. Except. Not enough to actually kill anyone, huh? Bummer. Noted. Take two out of three. Two out of three is good. Carnage is not too bad in a deck like this. Because it's a free exhaust sometimes and a big attack other times. I'll pick one up. Leave the Cultist Potion on the ground here. Take the extra money going into the shop, although Ritual Dagger does fit with the theme pretty well. Uh, it competes with Hand of Greed for kills, so I don't want to deal with that. And this is the fight where I'm going to use two regen potions. We can buy back up to full potions momentarily. And this fight is going to suck otherwise, right? I'm going to just play the Juggernaut, since I'm healing so much anyway. Well, I'm not healing that much, right? I don't want to get too crazy here. Kinesis, huh? Bummer. Nope. Uh, it's gonna be worth it to play that. Take a bit more damage this turn, but the extra energy is gonna be invaluable, and it's only one turn. It's only one turn. good enough. All right, we'll play this final one.
Clash Plus. Sorry, this deck just can't just can't play that consistently enough. All right, 700 bucks takes us into the shop here, and boy, is there some ridiculous shenanigans to be found here. $700. Obviously, we're going to buy Preserved Insect, right? That makes the Black Star so much easier to deal with. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less health. They want me to take the Shard, do they? And you know what? Honestly, this deck's going to be pretty fun with Prismatic Shard. I think there's a lot of other color cards that could really transform this. So let's do it. I would love stances. I would love after image. I would love lots of nonsense. Do I buy Tori? I think I'd rather buy potions. Actually, the elixir is really good. The elixir is really good. I'll buy an elixir. How often do I do that? Very rarely, Twitch chat. Yeah, that's how often. All right, onwards. I'm gonna fight this elite and see how it goes. Sing red, fend, bonk. Take one. This is thirty seven, so strike alone won't be enough. What do you got for me, Infernal Blade? Bumble strike, perfect. Sever Soul is almost decent. Might have to be something I take. I currently don't have a way to exhaust statuses. Let's grab it. Alright, Book of Stabs. Oof, ouch. My face. Guess we just go Juggernaut, feel no pain, accept the consequence of what's about to happen to me. I guess I could Elixir to block for 9. But I'm just going to take the 24 to the face, looks like. That's a very rude turn 1. Your turn two is not much better. I think now is when I have to use the elixir. Maybe Infernal Blade first. Infernal Blade first. Bummer. Perfect. Even got the elixir back. Amazing. Endless Agony. Two copies of a zero cost exhaust card. Hey. We're going to be able to get some crazy synergies um, if this keeps up. Hmm, what if I jump over here now? Could've taken pressure points. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah, I'm gonna jump over here now. No pressure. Hmm, yes pressure though. All right, Infernal Blade, you have to do at least eight damage here. I guess technically seven would be acceptable too. No bueno. That is not bueno. Guess I'll just rest. Rest? Yeah. Breshting will have to do. Yeah. 
double bummer. Six. Okay, so I can get two of them. That's fine. Well, the good cards were on the bottom this time, unfortunately. That was uh, that was a bit tough. Candle Potion Belt. Burning Pact? Fasting Beam Cell. Hmm. Beam Cell actually seems kind of huge here. So does Burning Pact, though. Take the Burning Pact. Both very good. I could jump one more time and fight this elite, but I'm not going to. We're going to rest here so I can go to the shop? Yes. That sounds good. The key is attached to the wrong relic. I have to take them up. I guess I could avoid the shop for now. Hmm. Well, let's see what the gremlin does. If the gremlin gives me money, I'm definitely going to the shop. Give me a heal, and I might choose otherwise. Give me a removal, and I'll simply be grateful. Thanks. So, preserve the mall bank, avoid the shop. Or don't do that. With hand agree, the income is pretty steady. I think I'm just going to spend the money now. Yeah, we get Sling of Courage. We get a second Feel No Pain. We're offered Exhume. Panacea. Really good potions. This is a really good store. White Bee Statue is here, too. Jeez. White Bee Statue with Potion Belt is quite exceptional. Hands of Greed. Feet of Greed. This run got so cool. Definitely buying this. Am I buying you? Or I could go like Sling of Courage and two potions. Sling of Courage is pretty sweet. Just like destroy all the elites. Oh, I didn't realize these two were offset. I'm going to fight both of these then. All right, yeah, let's take the sling over the uh, white bee statue and then go potion, potion. Son of a gun. Wait, I can do damage to myself. Was that helpful? I wouldn't say it necessarily was. Well, that's what the block potion's for, I guess. Let's see what's on top. Don't try this at home, kids. It will hurt. This did not help me. Storm of Steel? Wait a minute, Storm of Steel? Storm of Steel with Dark Embrace and two Feel No Pains. I was looking at the Prey here, but Storm of Steel? Oh my goodness, give me that. Hmm. 
Yeah, gimme. <laughs> Turn these cards into shivs. Make it so. And they're nine damage shivs. Let's also throw this at these fools. Yeah, get in there, strike. And with the ink bottle too. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I'm really loving this Sever Soul also. It's been pretty hype. Amazing. Dead Branch is here. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand. I mean, yeah, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take a Blade Dance to go with that, too. Of course I am. Let's find another Elite, shall we? These guys, the Revengening. This time I won't be slightly short on damage, because I have five strength turn one. Nerds. The power. I don't need to berserk here. Coming for you, Hand of Greed. Well, maybe not. Take two for a chance. Sure. Got it. Alright, worth it. More health. Lots more health. Heart of Iron could be good against the boss. Don't have a corruption yet. Want another shrug? I think we're good. I think our shiv cards are better blocks than the shrug is. All right, we want to continue to get energy upgrades. I like the seeing red plus and the bloodletting plus. Uh, corruption could make the seeing red redundant. Let's upgrade the bloodletting. Johnny Tang, thanks for six months of support. I think with all these relics, we're gonna absolutely obliterate this poor bronze automaton. Oh yeah, behold the power. Here's Juggernaut, and there's Exhum. Hmm. Intriguing. I'm just gonna several soul those. Combust. Let's headbutt the bloodletting. Here we go. All the energy. Yeah, 
Feel No Pain plus Juggernaut are popping off pretty well here, too. You get absurd card draw for every card that we exhaust. Play the demon form, I'm just gonna discard it all with Storm of Steel. Ninety seven block, by the way. Question is, can I can I win without accidentally killing? Wait, no. <laughs> the answer is no. GG. In Venom? I actually really like Core Surge here, giving us an artifact while doing good damage at the same time. It exhausts. Nothing wrong with that. This is one of the silliest runs I've ever had, actually. Dead Branch. Prismatic Shard. Doesn't feel to me like the Envenom's going to do that much. It's going to be a lot less damage than the Juggernaut is. Take on Core Surge here. Do we take Sneko Eye? No, let's take Slaver's Collar. A, even more bonuses against Elites. It's not like we need the extra card draw per turn of the Sneko Eye, right? Certainly, I don't want the Velvet Choker. Limiting us to six cards per turn would put a hard stop on so many of our shenanigans. We can't allow that. Anything but that. Alright, can Wing Boots give me an extra Elite here? We can get four... Wing boots don't actually let me face any more of them, but... Oh well. That seems fine. Uh, we'll start with this one, and might as well go through a shop, yeah? Might as well. A meager three energy per turn against this nerd? You expect much of me. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, we can block the no-draw from Battle Trance, that's quite nice. Piercing Whale! Yeah! I'll take that card. That's a good card. Triple Hand of Greed? Ooh, and we even got it on turn one here, so it's actually reasonable. I just have to tank some damage here, though. Draw it again immediately, but then I can't play it. So, what's the point? I discard the Dark Embraces? That'd be a bit of a problem, huh? randomly generate a headbutt, though. Oh, we can also block the vulnerable. So many uses for that coursers that I hadn't thought of, actually. All 
All right, somewhere in the draw pile is a hand agreed. There it is. Tantrum. That would be a spicy one. Puts us into Wrath Stance, meaning we take double damage from everything, but we deal double damage to everything. Cool Headed works really nicely with our Juggernaut. That's pretty good. We have Red Skull. I mean, I'm going to take this. I don't know that we'll actually be playing it, but I am going to take it. And I bet you'll be surprised at how often it comes up uh, useful. For example, this seems like an ideal use case. Get him. Clad. Take triple damage. Actually, there's no downside to that. Even better. Beanie the Wrinkle, thank you so much for the very generous five gifted subs. Welcome to the Koozie Sub Club, everybody. Can't wait for me to find a master reality. Oh, I know. How about two entropic brews? That's pretty wild. Very happy with the clockwork souvenir. More artifacts. You can't keep getting away with it. Wouldn't mind removing a strike. Wouldn't mind another burning pact. Actually, wouldn't mind jack of all trades, hilariously. Gremlin Horn could be decent, too. Helps us with Reptomancer, especially, but do I need that much help with Reptomancer? I don't think that I do. I'm just gonna remove a strike. Be on my way. Our opponent is a nemesis that has more max health, but then also less max health. So it's a slightly smaller than normal nemesis. But only very slightly. Let's give me shrug for next turn. This deals five, We're already full blocking, this deals eight. And Peter the Wrinkle, thank you so much for the which is that 777 month bits? Some cheer for the month. Awesome Sully says, why do I usually remove strikes and not defends? Does depend on the character I'm playing. On Ironclad, you'll usually see me remove strikes over defends because defends work with the card Corruption, which we're hoping to find later. Where strikes really don't do that much. On Watcher, you'll usually see me remove the... Defends first. Zoom. More money! Another headbutt? I don't think we need to. 
beyond ridiculous. We've gone into extra ridiculous. Do I even need rest sites at this point? There's some good upgrades we can get. I wouldn't be upset with upgrades. Um, let's take an event. Madness? Rise is actually extra card draw on turn one. Well, madness is. I don't think madness has helped that much. Because we're rarely redrawing the same cards over and over again. Let's actually up the Juggernaut, of all things. Thero asks, how long have I played this game? 6,000 hours now. Just a short little while, you know? OWM, did you hear about the watcher who decided to get into selling houses? She decided to master realty. Hmm, take damage on purpose? Yes. Oh, I needn't have worried. Needn't have worried. Oh, another good use case for Tantrum? Let's do it. Let's freaking do it, Twitch chat. A way out of wrath. I'm gonna take that. We're stance switching now, Twitch Jet. Do I want an extra rest site? I could upgrade both Feel No Pains? That's kinda hype, actually. I'm gonna do that. Although combats are very good with the, the money and the, the shard card rewards and all that. Not good enough. Wait, there's a barricade in my discard pile? What? <laughs> Where'd that come from? Get into my hands. Definitely did not notice that when it arrived the first time. Double barricade. Mummified hand makes a card in hand free when we play a power. Study seems like the most hilarious power to add to this deck. Adds more exhausting cards to the draw pile every turn. I'll take it. Never have I seen such a good study, actually. Hilarious. So we've got Bronze Scales, Mummy Hand, Strawberry on the second page of Relics. With more to come. Extra tiny nemesis this time. Even smaller than ever before. Tantrum, not yet. Four. 
five. Easy. Just full block. No problemo. And then guaranteed hand agreed, even better. Bonk. Stone Calendar and Omamori, not exactly the last two relics we were looking for. How about another hand of greed, Twitch chat? You know what? For old time's sake, get in there. Double hand of greed. Gotta really hand it to you. That's a useful card. have two hands, Twitch chat. Never know when that could come in handy. Of course, heard this berserk. Yeah. I can exhume the core surge. Let's do it. This. I'm gonna get rid of Juggernaut in this fight. Eighty damage carnage. Dang. The calm clad. He is peaceful, not angry. Double berserk? Let's do it. I'm still blocking this. Surely there's no downside. Base six energy per turn now. Hopefully that'll be enough. Eleven block per exhausted card, by the way. I have no strength. Hmm. New dude. Here, you're gonna die this turn, kid. Better make it count. play that. Triple Berserk. The ultimate Zerk. And now we Storm of Steel? Exhume. There's so many choices. I can exhume Shiv. Exhume Shockwave. Draw three. Make more cards for you. Hmm. 
got no draw, so I can't draw anymore. There we go. Bonked. Next up, Time Eater. Tim the Time Eater, specifically. He does his best. Oh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Good talk. Tempting. Deeply tempting. More juggernauting? Oh, I'm going to do it. I like to be juggernauted. You will stop doing that. This will be played. I love it. Double tap. No bash or anything, huh? Uh, although I could dump, I could headbutt the bash and double tap bash. Let's do that. Also, now you're below half, so that's convenient for me. Basically, nice rider. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this untaxed income? Deal 2583. What a score. There was a hypothetical spire 2. What kind of mechanic would I like to see in it? Hmm. Something fundamentally different to slay the spire 1. I'd like to see alternately unlockable starting decks. So I'd like, for example, so for example, Defect starts with the Zap card that channels one lightning orb. I'd like to be able to choose Chill, start with one, uh, channel one Frost instead of one lightning as part of the starting deck, just an alternate starter card with slightly different properties. You could come up with kind of similar variations for whatever characters you had. Uh, I'd also like to see, in a similar vein, alternate acts. Instead of Act 2 being the city all the time, with Bronze Automaton Collector Champ, you have two or three different versions of Act 2 that you can choose between. You pick one, depending on either random factors or because you get a choice, uh, and those have their own events, bosses, effects, etc. I upgrade study. Double upgrade paths could be cool too. Uh, yeah, buy boat thingy, bag of prep, fill the paint apotheosis, remove a strike, and dupe pot. Easy. Seems like we're gonna absolutely roll over <laughs> the rest of the game here. Heck yeah. I love this clockwork souvenir berserk combo we've been getting. It's actually pretty sweet. Let me draw a card shortly, okay. Double Hand of Greed. Hmm. That's actually a lot of damage. And it was on five. Just 
And then we do bonk, bonk. Although actually taking damage there might have been better, hilariously. This is fine, regardless. Take small damage or use a potion. Cool with the damage. Insight plus. How cool is that? Storm of Steel. <laughs> Steals the show. Our last two relics, Happy Flower and Oddly Smooth Stone. Look at all these relics. And a Seeing Red Plus. I think the current potions are better than the Dex Potion. Probably going to be duping, like, Juggernaut or something. Uh, the more important relics are on this page. The ink, the ink bottle and the pen nib. Does Dead Branch give non-class cards? No, only the ones that we found via the Prismatic Shard. Oh. Pothy, oh. This. No reason not to drink this one right away. These others can wait. Hey. Search for another artifact. That for free could play Storm of Steel. Let's master strategy for a bit first. All right, I'll Storm of Steel now. Uh, what else do I want here? Let's let's see if, see whatever everything is. Oh my goodness! And a second wind. Okay, okay. I'll play the brutality. Oh yeah, and these are gonna chain. I should have dual wielded the uh, free feel no pain actually. That's what I should have done. Let's, let's go double brutality. Double Berserk, obviously. Thunderclap, Legend. All right, we cap damage turn one. I have six Metallicize, 11 Feel No Pain, two Berserk, two Brutality, one Dark Embrace, and a Dead Branch. And three potions still. Alas, I don't have Calipers. All right, there's my Juggernaut. Double that. 14 block. Uh, 14 damage, excuse me, whenever I block. All to a random foe, of course. Let's exhume... Pontiosis. Now I draw a million whenever I exhaust a card, just because. Get him, Silver Soul. Get him again, Silver Soul. Well, that was a bit less inspiring, actually.
Get him, Elixir. Hey there, if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.